to Guinea now because while the nation started waiting, waiting patiently as votes on Sunday's presidential election were being counted, the opposition leader, Selou Dalian Diallo, has decided to declare himself the winner. Provisional results are not due till Wednesday. But there, and there's been tension in the nation, given the protests that surrounded the incumbent, President Alpha Conde, deciding to stand for a third term. Many took to the streets beforehand, demanding he abandon the contest, given that he's already served two presidential terms. Well, joining me now from Conakry is journalist Al-Hassan Silla. Evening to you, uh, Al-Hassan. So results went due till Wednesday, as I said. So why has Selou Dali and Diallo already declared himself the victor? Evening, Bola. Perhaps it is Selu Dalo himself who can answer the question, but um, it has come as a bit of a surprise. But um, he called the press conference, the, press, the, the journalists were there, and he declared to them that um, uh, given the fact that he has won most of the, the constituencies uh, as the results were being read, and that um, given the fact that um, um, he has seen um, no other... Uh, person near him, I mean, that is he's referring to President Alpha Conde in particular, it means that he has won the election and he duly declared himself winner of the election. Um, he said despite the, um, he said despite um, the inconsistency, some inconsistency in the election, he said he believes he's still the winner. But what percentage of the votes have actually uh, already been announced, if he's saying, judging from the, the, the number of votes already declared? Well, well, many of us have not actually been able to calculate how, I mean, what percentage of the vote has been counted. But the fact is that, I mean, the results are still, even as I speak, the results are still being relayed on, on radio, both the private and the, the national broadcaster. So, I mean, that's why it is surprising that um, uh, Seludal Jallo has declared himself winner of these elections. It's quite surprising, actually. Ola. You know, there's been action taken, I understand, by the Electoral Commission after a media house released results prematurely, or has been. So what is the Electoral Commission making about him now declaring himself prematurely the, 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 the victor? Well, the Electoral Commission, the Electoral Commission has not reacted um, so far. What we do know is the, is, the, is the ruling party, the RPG, that has um, said that, well, I mean, this is really premature and um, it is disappointing because they just thought um, Serul and Jallo is, I mean, one of the, the, the most notable personalities in this country and they were expecting much from him rather than him declaring himself uh, winner of an election that has not yet reached his conclusion. And what about his supporters? I mean, I heard beeping behind you just there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Were those members of his supporters or how have they been reacting? Listen, I mean, when Selu declared himself about two hours ago as winner of this election, it was like he was calling people to a pilgrimage. Tens of thousands of his supporters strung the streets, and even the police who came out with tear gas and water cannon couldn't control them. They were all trying to head to the house of the of the of Mr. Selu Dalen Jallo, and then there is quite a standoff with the police in several areas of town leading to Mr. Jallo's home. So uh, if there's a standoff now, what, what's the next situation? Are the uh, security forces trying to disperse them? Is Selu Dalian Diallo himself talking to his supporters to try and uh, prevent any kind of heightened tension, or, or what's the next step? Well, well, ironically, Bola, I mean, Selu Dalian Diallo, after his vote yesterday, I was there, I was present, he said, he, he said for his supporters to keep calm. He didn't want any violence to mar his victory. Those were his exact words. So it is surprising now that he has created this situation whereby his supporters would now have become uncontrollable and um, people are beginning to say this is a sign of danger. I mean, but I mean, given all these circumstances, the government has not yet said anything apart from one diplomatic source who whispered to me saying what the government has done immediately. is to, it, it has alerted the big powers, the United Nations, the U.S., the French mm. embassy and other people and saying just take note of what is going on see what Selu has done to us. Al-Hassan, thank you very much indeed. Journalist Al-Hassan Silla speaking to us live from Conakry. And in a moment, we'll have a roundup of other stories.